As you have clicked this video, I'm assuming you already know who Jordan Peterson is. But if you don't, let me quickly introduce him. Dr. Jordan Peterson is a clinical psychologist. He is a professor, a retired professor of the University of Toronto. He is a best-selling author, New York Times best-selling author. And he is a very well-known public intellectual. He rose to fame in the late 2010s because of his stance against a bill that was being passed in the Canadian Parliament, the Bill C-16. Personally speaking, Jordan Peterson has been very, very influential in my own life. His YouTube interviews, his podcasts, they have really, really been very, very enriching for me. I have been able to stretch myself using his videos, using his ideas. I've been able to improve and grow my personality. I've been able to question myself on several different areas. So in summary, whatever he's doing has been very, very helpful to me. So having said all this, what is it that I don't agree with him on? Let's get into it. Dr. Peterson talks about IQ, intelligence quotient, and he says that our IQs are fixed. What does that mean? It means that throughout your life, your IQ is going to remain more or less the same. You might be able to push it, stretch it a little bit here and there, but more or less, it's going to stay the same. That means, as far as IQ goes, your hands are tied. He also says that IQ is the number one predictor for performance, which means a person with a higher IQ has a higher chance to perform better. So, IQ is more or less fixed and it plays a crucial role in our lives. Not just that, in one of his lectures, he even says what kind of a job is suited for different levels of IQs. It is quite an extensive list that he shares with us in that lecture. I'll try and link the video below. But in summary, what he says is that if your IQ is at the lower end, then you are suited for more menial jobs. Jobs like being in a production crew or being a security personnel or being a janitor or a production worker or something along those lines. However, if your IQ is on the higher end, then you are suited for jobs that need more cognitive ability. You could be more suited to become an engineer or an editor or an attorney or, or, or a chemist or something along those lines. So in summary, what he is saying is that IQ is more or less fixed. It plays a very important role in our lives and we are kind of limited by it. And this is where my disagreement comes in. Actually, it's not so much a disagreement, but a denial on my part to believe in this. I don't want to believe in the fact that there is a trait which is going to define my entire life which is going to limit myself in every single avenue. I really don't want to believe in that fact. I want to believe that I really, really can push my limitations. Again, I, I respect Dr. Jordan Peterson. He has been very, very influential in my life. But on this one thing, I don't want to believe in what he's saying. And I understand that he is backing whatever he's saying with a lot of research. He has done his research, but I don't want to believe it. It's a denial on my part. I want to believe that I can exceed my limitations. I want to believe that there is something within me that can transcend myself. I want to believe that I can really, really push myself up to my limits. And then when I get there, I can push some more and understand that actually there are no limits. I want to believe this. Why? The reason is simple. Because if life is a journey, an expedition or an experiment, I want to get into it thinking that the possibilities are limitless. I can really do whatever I set my mind to. And a metric like IQ is not something that can stop me. I really want to believe that. And I think if you're watching this video, there's a part of you who also doesn't want to believe that, that IQ can limit you. There's a part of you that wants to transcend itself, transcend all the limitations that you have. And maybe it's a naive approach to life. Maybe I am being naive by thinking along these lines. But I still believe that this is where I have the best chance. Because if I believe that there is something about me which is limitless, there is something about me which can transcend my own boundaries, only then will I stretch myself. Only then will I push myself to the limits. Only then will I try and see where my limits are. Because otherwise, you might end up limiting yourself. You might end up saying that, hey, this is what my IQ is. These are the things that I can do and let's stick to it. And that's why I don't want to believe in this. I, I want to deny it. Once again, I absolutely admire Dr. Jordan Peterson. I respect what he has been doing. He has been very, very influential. But 
I don't want to agree with this. I want to deny it, knowing very well that what he is saying might be right. But still, I want to make a choice. I want to go ahead and say that I don't want to believe in it. He he may be right on this, and th- there's a very high chance that he is. But I still don't want to believe in it. Maybe a few years, maybe ten years down the line, I might say that yes, that's the case. That's right. He's right. But until then, I really want to see how much I can push myself. What do you think about IQ? What are your views? Do let me know. Do you also believe that IQ is fixed and you cannot do much about it, or do you also think like me? Do you also believe that you can really, really push yourself and extend yourself, transcend your own limitations and your own boundaries? Is that what you think? Do comment below and let me know. I would love to hear from you. I hope, I really hope that you found this video in good spirits. And once again. no disrespect to dr jordan peterson i absolutely absolutely adore him